guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here hi my name is wabosha and welcome to the slay squad so on this week's video i have a very very requested uh video on my channel and yes <laughs> it's not just one of those things that we youtubers say it was actually very much requested and it's my foundation routine and particularly how i get my skin to look glowy when i have foundation on so that is going to be our video for this week i did my hair my Self. I filmed the process that is going to be a Thursday's video so be on the lookout for that as well also do leave down below in the comments section um, video ideas what would you like us to do right now while we are social distancing so that you know can help me help you <laughs> stay entertained so yeah, I hope you enjoy the video let's get straight to it so I have just quickly done my eye makeup so I've done my eyebrows and just a very simple quick do I'm going to mainly concentrate on my skin because that's what today's video is about so tip number one for getting your foundation right this is not even to do with glow but it's just to make sure that you're blending everything really really well is to get a mirror and not just any mirror to get one that has like the magnified side I saw this on Jackie Aina's channel last year and I decided to try it out I honestly didn't think it would make such a big difference in my foundation game but guys believe the hype <laughs> it makes such a huge difference because i mean if you're blending using like a magnified mirror then that means you are unclockable from every single angle i got mine from house of leather but i saw um cheaper ones at miniso and i think the ones at miniso were even a bit cuter but this is how this house of leather one looks like i can't remember the price exactly so now into the glowing foundation tip number one is to use a what's it called an illuminating primer the one that i'm using is by maybelline and it's the master prime illuminating primer and i think i've shown this on my channel before but it actually has um okay it's pink but if you look at it close in there it has some shiny shiny iridescent type of things sometimes when you apply like that you can kind of see the pinkish and purple illuminating stuff so then that makes my skin really really uh, glowy underneath my foundation just one thing to note is that if you have oily skin you might want to not only use this primer alone uh, get a something mattifying then apply that on your on your oily areas before you use something like this first if you have dry skin like I do then it's just a field trip with this is actually my favorite primer okay so you see how you're getting tin man vibes from my skin right now that is exactly what you want your skin <laughs> to look like after this primer because that's just going to give you that glow from within look um, when you put your foundation on top of it and also to add to the glow from within um, type of look there's another um, highlight that I usually go with underneath my foundation. Not another highlight, because this is basically the first highlight. The first one was a primer. So I don't do this all the time. I just do it when I want that extra, you know, extra ness. So this is the Master Strobing Stick from Maybelline. And mine is in the shade Dark Gold. So I go with this cream highlighter to the... Uh, top parts of my face basically where when the height when the light hits me where it's going to hit first so here on my cheekbones and this one is gold as opposed to the primer that was a bit pinkish so then I feel like this also looks really really nice on darker skinned women so you see right there where the light hits first I go in with that then I use my brush and I blend it in. You can also use your finger for this. Okay, so now we look like Tin Man meets Foil Man. We are just glowing from each and every angle. That's exactly how you want to be looking like. So for foundation, this is a foundation that I've currently been using. It's the Lancome Tint Idol in the number 10. If I'm not wrong, yep, number 10. I really, really like this foundation. But then again, I'm not sure if I really like it. Or it's just because it's the foundation I currently have that perfectly, perfectly matches me. 
but I have no complaints about it. It wears beautifully. It still makes my smile lines show, which is something that I've never <laughs> been able to find a foundation where my smile lines wouldn't be peeking through. After a couple of hours wearing it, not even hours, sometimes immediately I'm done doing my makeup and on this side, my lines will be bizarre so if you have any tips for that I'll appreciate it this is what I'm using to blend um, oh it's a Pauline cosmetics brush I really like the fact that it's big now at this stage you want to spend your time like just blend and blend and blend and make sure especially at your forehead there's not going to be that mark in between where your baby hairs start and where your foundation um, ends you want everything to be really really seamless so spend your time blending a lot i don't put a lot of foundation underneath my eyes because i'm going to go back in and highlight and i usually use a foundation stick for that so i don't want to have like so much cakiness on my face so yeah blend 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 okay so i've been blending for a while now and I think I'm happy with my blend I've gone all the way to my ears that line in between where your baby hairs and foundation meet and also down to my neck like that I'm happy with the blend so uh, to help with the blending and also increase the glow this is the next step that I normally do and I usually do this step now because I mean if I'm doing an everyday look I'm not going to be doing my highlighting and contouring though I feel like it might even work better if you're doing your highlighting and contouring then do this step after so that you can blend everything together but I think I'm just really used to doing it now and this is the product that I use for this. It's a setting spray by MAC. It's their Fix Plus Gold Light. Now, if you look at this setting spray, it has um, gold, gold like specks in it. First of all, it looks milky, and then you can see like the gold, gold in there. And I, I love it. This thing makes your skin glow, glow, glow. And the only thing is that don't spray it too close to your face because if you spray it too close to your face and it will leave some uh, white things I mean if you're going to blend it in then it doesn't really matter but sometimes you're using it as your final setting spray after you're done so you don't have to go back in and fix mistakes so hold hold your setting spray at distance kidogo and shake them before so I'm going to just shake this up and spray it with kindness all over my face I'm going to cover my eyes because it has the gold specks if your eyeshadow doesn't really have anything gold in it then it leaves the gold gold to glitters on there and it, it ruins everything Okay, so now before the setting spray dries down use your foundation brush and just press everything in okay so you see how the skin is just looking very very healthy that is exactly how you want your skin to look like like you have a glow from within and it's not the makeup that is making you look glowy and i know i said that uh you should start blending before it dries don't do it immediately like when your skin is wet wet wait for your skin to be like damp ish and then that is when you start doing the blending because if you do it when it's really wet then your foundation brush might lift foundation from your face instead of like soaking not really soaking instead of like pressing that glow into the skin so yeah and then there is i don't know if you can see here like here and here this is where the spray landed on my skin so as you can see it, it leaves that gold goldness onto the skin which is why i'm like spray it a bit from a distance so the next step is highlighting and contouring. I don't do this step every day like I mentioned. I feel like every time I do this in a video, there's always someone in the comment section like, that is so much makeup. <laughs> well guys, 
realistically no one does this every single day but then again there are people who do and i feel like if it makes you feel good and like you can go forth and conquer the world please do do it so now for highlighting and contouring i use um, foundation sticks now the thing about having a glow on your skin you want to use as many cream products as you can cream products make your skin look a lot more glowy than powdered products so you want to use as many cream things as possible as opposed to powder um so to highlight the shade that i use is truly topaz and for my contour i use suede mocha for the highlight i like to warm it up a bit on the back of my hand like that then i don't go too far on top because here is where the crease lines form so i put it a bit at the bottom and then I'll just blend it upwards when I am doing the blending. Yo, my camera dropped <laughs> and then it wasn't focusing. I almost had a heart attack. So this is the stage that I was telling you guys that you could again uh, spray and blend. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray. And then I usually use, of course, different brushes while I'm blending. This one I use it because it's little and it can get underneath my eye perfectly. So that's why I'm using this. Let me let everything sip in first and then I'm just going to go ahead and blend one more time okay so now to set underneath my eyes I usually go in with Sasha buttercup powder and remember what we said guys a lot of powder reduces the glow from your skin so even if you're baking don't bake with so much powder just use enough and I'm going to just smooth everything underneath my eye before I go in with the powder. And literally, this is the amount that I use underneath my eyes. Just like that. Especially if you have dry skin, hoo -hoo, this powder can really dry you out. So there's no need of re baking and everything. Just press on the amount that you need and that's, that's it. Okay, so next step for me is setting the entire face with powder. I know a lot of people who don't use powder so that they can maintain that glow. But I honestly don't think I'd recommend this because if you're going to spend uh, an entire day with your face beat on, it's you're going to need to set it. And powder is what just sets everything in there and make sure um, nothing is moving around. Especially like when you start sweating, foundation can tend to move around so powder just stops things from moving around and also depending on the powder that you use like the that i'm using today is by maybelline it's the fit me matte and poreless powder so the poreless part of this powder helps the finish of your foundation it makes you look very smooth <laughs> and and nice and it just improves the finish of your previously applied foundation the one by mac also does a really really good job when this one is over that's the one i'm going to get to try out so yeah if i can get it oh i always struggle to open today to know we have visitors so with this i press it into the skin first and then that is when i will like dab So if you're going to use a blush, now is the time to apply it. The blush palette that I'm using is Pro Artist by Style Essentials. And I never go really crazy with the brush. This is <laughs> with the blush. This is the shade that I'm going to be using. Right there. And for me, I never smile when I'm applying my br uh, hey, brush. <laughs> when I'm applying my blush, I never smile because I feel like if I do that, then it will only look cute when I'm smiling. And I'm not going to be going around just being like, hey. So I always just relax and try and find um, the apples of my cheeks when I'm relaxed. And then that's where I apply my blush. And I always um, don't only apply it like right here. I you blend it a bit upwards. 
Then the last thing is highlighter and the highlighter that I'm using is this one by Maybelline. It's uh, does it have a name? It just it says chrome highlight reflect chrome and it does have like very iridescent reflective like specs you see how it shines i really really like this this is my favorite favorite highlighter now before you apply your highlighter so that it can come out even more you want to spray your face and i usually use this refreshing um hydrating beauty mist by my clients don't feel pressure to go and get out two different um sprays it's not necessary i just have this one because i received it in pr i really like it and that's why i like find a way to integrate it into my routine uh the other thing that you want to try when you're using your before you highlight let me get it so like i mentioned cream products always really really like make you look like you're glowing so you might want to also use this first and then set it uh, with the powder because cream makes you just look way more glowy but with this I wouldn't go in with a lot and I'd also put it with my finger and I'm just going to dab some excess in the back of my hand just in case and then right there on the apples of your cheeks then you set it with um, the powder one Honestly, I usually don't uh, do the cream first before the powder, but it's an extra step that you can try if you want to even make your highlighter glow more. So I'm going to spray my face. One eternity later. Another thing that I really, really enjoy about this setting spray is the nozzle. So the way the nozzle disperses the product, oh, it's really nice. Like it just evenly distributes the product and I love it I just honestly really, really love it so before it dries off I'm going to go in with my highlighter uh, make sure you blend your highlighter nicely so that it doesn't take away from that glow from within things so I really apply it with my fan brush and then I go in with this brush and just blend everything in So this is the final look on my lips. I have Sedactive Sienna by Revlon, topped off with Fenty Glow from Fenty Beauty, the gloss. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. I hope you learned something new from this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below uh, in the comment section. All the products mentioned in this video will be listed down below in the description bar, so be sure to check that out. And yeah, I guess that is it for this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe down below for new videos every Mondays and Thursdays. Always remember to work hard and have good intentions. Until next time, bye guys.